Okay, everybody, it is Crafty Glamper 77. I am here with another Timu haul. Just trying to get my thumbnail in there before I get all excited or wrapped into what I'm doing because then I kind of forget. Um, got a pretty big one today. <clears throat> some of it's stocking stuffers. I know this probably sounds bad to some people, but bought some makeup things for me. My husband doesn't really know what to buy on that kind of stuff, so I helped him out and picked out a few things, but I'm going to share it on here so you guys can at least see it, and um, yeah, so we'll just go from there. Hope everybody had a good day. I just got off work. You can kind of tell I just got off work. Didn't do anything with myself, put a little bit of lip gloss on, and um, here I am, so... Let's see. He helped me price everything like he normally does, except for a couple of items because they're his Christmas gifts. <clears throat> Got him this, <clears throat> excuse me, ACDC sweatshirt. Um, I got it in black. Pretty sure we've learned not to just get the XL because it's more like a large. We kind of go up an extra size when I'm buying him anything. But I got this black sweatshirt. It says ACDC. It's really cool. Um, it's not real bad spongy. I mean, before I even look where you know it's polyester. Maybe with a little 5% something else. But it's not real spongy because I've got one. Um, here I dry my nails on. I just put lotion on. Ugh, I can't stand on my skin snags on stuff it just it's almost like chalk nails on chalkboard to me but anyway um i've got another one that's worse but i still wear it i like it and it was pink and it has cassettes on it and it says i don't know it's but it's really spongy this one's not so spongy so it's nice he'll like that he loves acdc so that was a good buy. Almost wondering if I couldn't go up to 2XL. Maybe I, I did. That's what I did. Ooh, and the inside, I need to go brighter. Ooh, oh well. May make me look bad, but I need you guys to hopefully see the material. But it's really soft. It's got fleece all in it. Does have the drawstrings there. You've got your little kangaroo pockets it's not divided it's one whole piece open so you can grab your hand in there keep your hands warm but yeah there's that um i don't know why i always have to look i get i did get a 2xl and yes it's 100 percent polyester but it's not bad polyester and if anybody's bought from timu you know what I mean when I say that. It's polyester, but not bad polyester. Because surely if you've ordered a lot of things, especially clothing, you've by now at least got one thing that it is just like spongy, you know, the material. But there's that. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to get on here and see what kind of goodies I bought. Give you a warning, I can kind of be all over the place, which drives people crazy. Um, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, not going to do my same speech. It is what it is. I buy things that, we all buy things that maybe other people would not like. So I don't need rude, negative comments. It's not what I'm on here for. It's not what I'm showing my stuff. I don't go on other people's stuff and do that. So I'd really appreciate if, if that's all you have to say, then don't say anything at all, or just don't watch my channel. I mean, I'd love for you to, because there's probably stuff on here maybe that you would like. I'd hate for one or two items to ruin it for you, but it is what it is. This is a gift from my husband. It says, never surrender. Let's get the light the light ring out of it. Hello, quit it. But it's going to be hard to do that. That's a little bit better. It's black ceramic. It does say Trump, make America great again, 2024. So there's that. That is one of his Christmas gifts. The worst thing to do is be on this thing and feel like you got a boogie. 
or something in your nose. It's driving me crazy because if I go back and rewatch this and I have something hanging out of my nose, that's going to be embarrassing because I'm not going to do the whole haul again. I probably just would not upload it. But And I paid $9.49 for that. I have been getting quite a bit credits back. And I didn't think I would even get credits or price adjustments back on stuff that I spent just with price adjustment money. Because sometimes I wait till I have 20 some dollars from price adjustment credits. And then I'll spend that. You can even get credit for those. And I was just, I was really surprised. So that's actually kind of awesome. I mean, let alone they already give us the credits back. Sheen and Timu are so much alike on their stuff. Shimu, Shimu. <laughs> wow. What a day, and it's only Tuesday. Um, Sheen doesn't do price adjustments where you see it sitting in your car or you have to go in and check it yourself and then tell it how you want it back on your card or in your Timu account to be spent. Um, if there's an adjustment and something's went down, I've noticed on my order thing, it'll have one price and then it'll have another price in red. Like if it's went down, it's giving me an adjustment, but I don't quite know how they do that because when I go to my bank account, I don't see 58 cents or a dollar two, like small credits in my account. So I really don't understand how Sheen works, but like Timu, their prices are just unbeatable. They're, when I say cheap, when they're cheap, I don't mean the items are cheap. I mean, some things quality might not be good. I mean, in the prices. So maybe I should just say, um... I don't know. Cheap's always what comes to mind, but I'm talking about prices. So, um, back to what we were doing. Um, $8.99 is what I paid, and there's four girls I work with in my department at the school. Um, so, I got four of these total. If you've watched any of my other hauls, I got those retro classic um, pillowcases. I still have to go to Hobby Lobby and get stuffing for that, and I've gotten them some other things. So we always buy for each other. I've already had a couple, but in case they didn't, you haven't seen that haul, I'll show it again. Sweet but twisted. Does that make me a candy cane? And they're really cute glasses. I really like them. Metal. It's got your thing like that, how a lot of the cups do, especially the 20 ounce tumblers. Seem like they have this kind of lid. But they're very nice made. The seal is good. They do have the rubber thing around there, which helps give it that tighter, good vacuum seal when you put it on there. Um, so there's that. And I'm just kind of noticing my other two that I've gotten close okay. This was sealed completely. I don't know if you can see that gap. I am sitting here twisting it. Watch. It's still my fingernails underneath that. It's like it won't go back down. So, don't know if it's the operator. I don't know. I don't even know what I did different when I put that on, but it is sealed that time. I have no idea. But $8.99. I think us girls usually average... I know it adds up and sounds like a lot, but when that's your team at work and you're with each other every day, you become family. Um, I usually average between sometimes, it's it's kind of a big fluctuation there, but um, $30 to $50 on each person's bag. Um, sometimes I make stuff and give it as a gift, but yeah. I was really excited for this, and I don't, and I apologize if the person's going to watch, but actually I have more than one person tell me. I did not know that, <coughs> excuse me, Timu had shirts, and I ended up only paying $3.58. I haven't found these any cheaper, plus I got a price adjustment on each one, and I got two. $3.58 for these shirts. They're distressed, looks like they're bleach washed out a little bit or whatever you want to call that, but they have the blank center and there's all kinds of colors and patterns and styles. Um, seems kind of small, but I mean, maybe not too, 
too bad. I like them longer because I wear leggings all the time. I got an extra large because I kept telling myself, quit going to an XXL. Um, it's 100% polyester. This is a soft material. It's a soft polyester. I know it looks shiny, which it is, but it's actually very pretty. Um, I really like that. So yeah, I'll just put like a decal. Um, I think I've got all my decals put up, but I mean, this won't match. It's probably too big, but it's just an idea. Like here's your shirt and you've got this little iron on and you can just put this little iron on right in the center where the white is, which of course I'd put a smaller one cause I'd want to see a little bit of the white outline. But yeah, I think those will work out really cute. And $7 for both, and I got a price adjustment. And that is $7 together. They were $3.58 a piece with price adjustments. And now when I go on there and I see all these different colors and stuff, they're, um, I got an extra large and an XXL. So I must have been indecisive, not sure what size to get. So that was an extra large. This is an XXL, and I have filling with me and my leggings. I'll probably be more happy with it. It's actually, it's a hair longer, but it's not much longer to be an XXL. So I guess that's what I would want to go with. I mean, it's definitely not a drastic difference. The back's solid. But you can see all the pattern that they put in there. But I think that's really cool. Um... <laughs> If anybody just watched my haul, I put up a couple, well, it wasn't a haul. It was my um, heat transfers, my Grinch ones that I got from Amazon. Well, I had a sublimation. I'd never done a sublimation before, and just me, green me, did not know that there was that much of a difference. Um, the ink and everything and just how you press it is completely different. Um, yeah. So... Don't do what I did at all. Anything from A to Z on the sublimation one. That's the one I actually put on my sweatshirt. Um, the t-shirts were fine. I did those normal like with my press. But don't follow my directions on the um, sublimation. Because I did it all wrong. But you live and learn. It's just one of those things. I had no clue how to do it. And you think I would have just been... This come off one of my shirts. I mean, it's the only thing I've had. Maybe it fell out of the bag. It almost looks like it's a collar. Okay, let's check this out. See what happened here. Because it looks like it would be around the collar. See, it's the inside kind of seam. This one's fine. Maybe it was just laying in the bag extra. There's nothing wrong with that one. That was just weird. But I wanted to make sure there was nothing wrong with it. Let me check out the other one real fast. Well, how's everybody's Christmas shopping coming? I'm doing good. I finished up Cyber Monday because our kids are all teenagers and in their 20s. Everything they want seems like it's online. We still want Black Friday shopping. We're not those crazy people, you know, making a mad dash for everything. We just take our time. We enjoy it. We eat a nice lunch or breakfast when we're out. We enjoy the time together. But, um, so we just bought some things we needed. Um, but I've actually finished up everything. The only thing I'm stressing about is, and it's not off of this shirt either. The only thing I'm stressing about is all the stuff that I bought from all these different places. I've got a list with the kids' names, the items, and what store I bought it from. As it's been coming in through Amazon or how it's whatever, I've been check marking the items. But I'm like stressing thinking, I just know something's not going to come. And they're going to be uneven on the amount spent on their gifts. But it... I don't know. So far, I don't. I shouldn't be stressing. Everything has come in. Knock on wood. It's doing fine. I'm getting a little bit of this and that every day. But I just know my luck. I'm like, I just know there's going to be that one item that doesn't come in. It's going to be so close to Christmas because I'll wait it out. And then everything will be picked over and I'll be stressing trying to find something for that person. Sorry. Didn't mean to shake that table. 
Um, this card was two thirty nine. I hope it's appropriate to read. It is. I actually have bought some things off Timu that I just don't show on here. I mean, they're not bad, but if it's just personal things like things for me or whatever, I don't necessarily. <laughs> okay, this is cute. I just know some of them that I've read. <laughs> I wasn't sure which one I got. The only package I want this Christmas is yours. And I thought that was a cute little card. It is blank inside, but it's nice, thick paper, cardboardy feel, but it's a nice paper. So you get to write whatever you want on there. It does come with a real pretty, it's not even red. It's a real pretty burgundy because see, oh, well, the light's like a pink burgundy. It's not even red on here. But I really like the color of that envelope. Cute. Yeah, me and my husband have a little tree up here. We buy a couple of little things for each other and we open it up here. Then we go downstairs with the kiddos. I'm just gonna put it back in here. I don't normally take the time. Every once in a while, there's certain things I do wanna keep in the package. Okay, so there's that. Let's get out a couple of things. Um, I got my mom. She has a mini Dotson. His name is Moose. Cheeky Dash Hounds. 2024 calendar. I bought it for $3.54. Did get a price adjustment. It's a gift, but I don't have to. I'm going to like rewrap it in something else anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here so you guys can see the pictures for anybody that's a little Dotson lover out there or Dash Hound. But, um, that's what the front looks like. It's actually nicely made. Um, oh, I was thinking, oh, great. I'm saying that, and then the springs are all wonky up here. But actually, it's not. It lays down back here, and you just pull it up, and that's what you can hang it with. So that's cool. That's a nice little thing. But, yeah, there it is. Boy, it's strong, strong paper smell. Um, let's see if we can find the pages. has all of them, possibly. No. Okay, well, there's no page. I'll just show you a few. If you are a January person, that would be your little puppy for that month. It's cute. Um, it gives you all kinds of room to write. They're nice size. Um, here's my thumb. You can put two thumbs in there, so it gives you writing room. And you got your notes down here. It tells you your holidays. Um, okay. If you're a March person, oh, this next one looks like moose. If you're a March person, that would be your handsome little fella, your little dog. But yeah, this is really nice, made and sturdy. The front and back's thick. Um, this is what Moosey looks like, but he's he's old. Oh, my husband's, he's home. But yeah, there's that one. I'm June, my daughter's April. Oh. Emmy's August. Isaac, my son, is August, so that would be theirs. And, wow, I passed April. March, April. I'm upstairs doing a haul. No, you're okay. I just, I'm home. Just want to let you know I was up here. May. Oh, there's June. He's chilling on the beach. But I'm June 1st. I'm a 77 girl. So there's that one. Let's think. My husband. Oh, look at October. Is that not cute? We'll have to look at December too. Just see what Christmas is. But isn't that cute? Okay. Real fast. My husband is September. Oh, it's the long haired ones. They look so soft. So there's that one. Now let's look at Christmas and we'll be done. Look. Look how cute. Okay. But yeah, that's a nice calendar for $3.54. And I got a price adjustment. That'd make a nice gift. Okay, got some iron-ons. I feel like I'm already tired tomorrow. Same bridles have days like that where you just wake up and this is how you feel already. Okay, $1.69. Jesus is the reason. Jesus, the reason for the season. It was $1.48 with a PR. So there's that. I like the plaid and everything in there. 
it's real pretty. And the little Santa hat on the S, the snowflakes, so that's cute. I wish I had my phone up, <clears throat> but I record with my phone. I still like this shirt, but I was disappointed because the colors are not as vibrant as they show in the picture. Um, $12.48 with a price adjustment, but I am sold on their flannel shirts. I love all their flannels. Today, this is a decal I got from Timu. We got to wear Christmas shirts, so I'm wearing Timu there. I've got my little Timu earrings on, but yes, I love their flannels. So here's one I got, and I still, I really like the colors. I ought to do a couple more little Timu, I mean, thumbnails, but not really with anything right now. Um, see, I, I like it. It is pretty. I got this. I do like my flannels baggy, even though I always wear them with them open most of the time because I wear a shirt underneath them at work. Um, I got an XXL. Soft. It's got pockets. Wow. Pockets on both sides. Do they normally have that? No, I didn't think so. Pockets on one. But this is cool. I like it. It's soft. I, I just love their flannels. There's not been one that I've gotten that I don't love. I kid you not. Um, man, it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel it through the camera. XXL, 100% polyester. This is wonderful polyester, though. Really nice. The arms are good. Let me see. I mean, I kind of have short arms anyway, so they're going to go over. But not much. And it's cute. It kind of has like this little, I don't know if you can see it keep getting ready to fold it and then I see something else it's kind of got like a pleat in it is a little style on the back but yes I do like that I'm not disappointed but the color I do wish was more vibrant like the picture but I do love the brown and that green together okay I got another one of these $1.48 and got a price adjustment I love that iron-on transfer, the little retro Santa with the little snowflakes. It's got a little, oh, I thought from here it looked like a circle, like they had a ball ornament. I was like, what? No, it's just a curly, curly hair. Okay. These are $1.97 for, and no price adjustment. There's actually more than one in here. I don't remember what they are. Okay, this one says, with God, all things are possible. I thought that was pretty. I'm just gonna do my grandma one. So there's that. Just a girl who loves Christmas. I do like this pink right here. I think it's pretty. And I like how that's supposed to look all sparkly. That's cute. This would probably be me, a good definition of me. Obsessive Christmas disorder, but that's really cute. The antlers and, yeah, that's cute. I like those. I could only see the top one, which was the first one I showed you. Couldn't remember what the others were. But anyway, I don't even know if I finished that discussion. How is everybody else doing on their shopping? Are you close to being done? You done? Haven't even started? Oh my gosh, if I hadn't started, I'd be so stressed. But there's some people that are just cool as a cucumber about it. And don't worry about it ahead of time. And they still get it all done. Um, I'm just going to get these four irons out of the way. I believe that's all of them. But my thing is just hoping and praying everything comes in the mail. And on time. Let me get these scissors because I can't. It's got a piece right here, but it's not like. Oh, it's just sealed on there really good. Okay. These are really wrinkly. I'm going to put them underneath the book, but I was waiting until I did this haul. Oh, 
I think I'm going to try for a refund. I, it should do okay, but I don't know if you can see. There is little, from where it's been pinched so tight, there's like some lines in there. Like crease, like there's no stuff. It's, I don't know. I don't know. But not happy with how this all came bent up. And the worst is right here. Just a girl who loves crafting. It's got a cricket on it. It's got all the utensils, the scissors and stuff. You can put them there, but I put mine on my pegboard. My husband made me. But that's cute. Did this one for my mom. I just want to make her a shirt. Oh, did I tell you the price? If I didn't, I'm sorry. It was a dollar forty-eight, and I got a price adjustment. This was a dollar twenty-nine. It says Merry Christmas. This cute little Dotson. Now it came fine. I love that. I love this one. Out of all, it's like, I think I scroll forever when I'm looking at heat transfers, and I think, well, surely I've seen them all by now, because I start to see some double, triple times. And I still go on there every once in a while, and I'll see ones I didn't see before, and I never saw this one, because I would have bought it a long time ago. Who does not like or know what the Golden Girls is? Love that show. Still love that show. But Miss Blanche Devereaux. And this was, oh. I threw away the bag because I ripped it so bad. $1.79. It's her. Ho, ho, ho. I love that. For $1.79, you got the big one and a little one. So you could put the little one on your front, like a little decal, and put this on the back. Put this on your shirt. Put this on a bag. Anything that you want to put it on. Just use your imagination. But I love these. Two for $1.79. Heck yeah. And of course, after I found her, I started trying to look for the other characters and didn't see them. But I was like, well, she's really the only one fit for ho, ho, ho for Christmas. This has all been up really, really bad. I mean, I don't know if you can see. It was pretty crinkled and creased. But I'm going to put this on a sweatshirt for my husband. It says Legend. Um, so I've got that decal for him. Okay, and some of them will even come with directions. If you have a press, there's directions, or, no, that's the iron. If you have an iron, there's your directions, and then if you have a press, it's got your directions. They don't all have that in there, but even if they don't, you can Google anything and find it, or watch demos on YouTube. Okay, we're going to get into some of the littles. Not all my Christmas stocking stuffers. I can't really say who they're for in case they watch. But. Okay. I got this for my mom. $1.47 with a PR. I'm going to put it in a little Christmas bag. So, we'll just go ahead and open it. It does. They all come with like a little gold string. I'm going to put something cuter like a pretty ribbon and people were telling me because I'm always like one side's not as bright as the other side you know I tried and tried on two of mine to peel it off to see if it would make it bolder and like not so dull because they said it was sticky that could come off I couldn't get anything off mine unless it's just on there so good I can't get it I don't know but thought this was cute 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 that's for mom and here, I've got a lot of little littles here. This is for my stocking. It's $1.98. They're just little makeup brushes. There's three. You can get those in different colors. Um, once again, Timo, Timo, can't talk, can I? Timo is one of those sites that, and there's others, I'm sure. If it's a more popular color, it'll cost more. Um, I've noticed that on a lot of things. I need to remember to quit talking when I'm crinkling. Sometimes it doesn't sound bad, and then sometimes I watch it and it's like, oh my god, I want to plug my own ears. Okay. 
Oh, here I go. This was $2.98 with a price adjustment. This is eyebrow soap. And this is what it looks like. I, for the like of me, I have big bushy eyebrows. And it says soap. But I thought this was more like supposed to be like a wax thing to shape them and where they would kind of stay. But now I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and read what that is. But there's the box. I kind of don't want to open it because it's my stocking stuffer. I already feel like I'm cheating. Then if I do this, I'm really cheating. And I ripped the box. So how attractive is that for a present? It, oh. Doesn't have any smell, but it almost looks like a lip gloss. So, <laughs> excuse me. Probably the wax part. And then the other side oh, has this little teeny weeny. Can you see that? No, you can't because my camera doesn't want to adjust. Sometimes it does okay, and sometimes I can't get it to adjust to save my life. But it's got this little brush here, so you'll put that stuff on, then you'll just shape them. It's kind of cool. Nice little packaging. So there's that. I got these. I got two, so when I find the other one, I won't show it. It's 87 cents, and I actually got a price adjustment off that. But I got my son one and Merrick, our um, teenage daughter's boyfriend. It's actually really cool. It's so small, though, but this is a level inside. You've got your inches, only up to like seven maybe. No, three inches, then you got your centimeters and stylist at the end. I'm supposed to do all kinds of different stuff. Here's your little tools. You got your flathead and then you got your Phillips and it just goes right back in here and then that screws. And I don't know if it comes apart, maybe it does something. No. But yeah, you'll just put those. Oh, it's actually a regular ink pen too. Whoa. So you turn it. Boom, you got your pen. Just a little twist. So I don't know. A little pen of many little gadgets there and they can stick it in their pocket and it still looks cool. But I thought that would be a cute little stocking stuffer. And 87 cents with a price adjustment. Got these for our teenager daughter acne patches. There's 180 pieces there, a dollar ninety-eight with the price adjustment. But there's those. Okay, I was gonna say I'm the box is bent, but I don't want to make it worse. Here's what the little patches look like. Looks like they come in all sizes. And you get quite a bit. It says there's 180 in there, so there's five sheets, but there's a bunch on one sheet. So there's that. The one and only ingredient is, don't know how to say that, hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid, colloid. I have no idea. But anyway, there's that. Got this. Um, turmeric soap. I've already bought one before and I love it. I have it in the camper. $2.99 with a price adjustment. Um, I have really dry skin, but this makes my skin feel nice and smooth. I forget what turmeric is good for, but it actually says shrink pores, even your skin tone and cleanses the skin, but it does not have a bad smell. It has a very pleasant smell. I really like it. It's not too small of a bar. Here's my hand, but yeah, I do like that. Um, I think that one was for me. I got other soaps, so they were for people. Um, some more makeup things. Dollar sixty-seven for my stocking. They come in different colors: green, purple, white, um, gray, all kinds of colors: red, yellow. So there's those, and you get three, and they're nice. A two-pack for ninety-eight cents for my stocking. I like the little colors. I thought they were pretty. They don't have the flat sides, it's just all round. So there's those. 
These are for my eyebrows, my crazy eyebrows. You should see me in the morning. These eyebrows are everywhere. 98 cents. And I like the little color how it is. I think these are pretty for 98 cents. Got your little plastic handles. This is plastic, but that's metal. But you're supposed to be able to, any of those little crazy ones you get sometimes, I'm almost scared to do it. Like if I do this, I'm going to have a big bald spot. I'll have to watch a little video or see the pictures of how they do it again. But it's supposed to get all those little crazy ones that kind of go everywhere, get too long and even out your lines on your cut. We'll see. It might work. I just don't know about the operator itself. What the result could be. It could be disastrous. I don't know. This is mine. I th I'm not going to say that because I'm going to say that so many times because I got little tiny stocking stuffers for my stockings. I didn't want any presents. I mean, we did get a few things Black Friday. and We're going to go ahead and wrap them just so we have something to unwrap with the kids. But I mainly love stockings because it's like the endless goodie bag. It just... The goodie bag that never stops. But um, it was the, it's 99% soothing gel aloe vera. Actually had like 50 some thousand or 100 some thousand people had gotten it. But I don't really particularly know if it's this or just a bunch of stuff off their site. Probably that. Now I know. Oh. Mm. Oh, it smells good. It's got actually a little tint right there. Can you see that? Mmm. Smells good. But that's for my stocking. Put it back in the package. Um, these are in... Did I say how much that was? Because heck if I didn't throw away the bag. 87 cents. I think it was 80... That was the pen. Well, shoot. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know. Got a string on me. Well, hopefully when I go back and see this, I actually did not forget to tell you the price. This is in packaging too, um, like plastic wrapped. It's $1.69. See, it's got plastic on it. I can open things, but when I get on this camera, this video thing, and start doing this haul for y'all, I can't open nothing. Everything gives me fits. Okay. Now, it's another lip thing. It's Blueberry Hydrating Colorful Lipstick. I don't think, some of these, I think they're weird colors, but that's not the color it's going to be when you put it on your lip. But we'll, we'll find out. I'll swatch it and we'll see. Ooh, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, and it's it's satisfying. It feels like um that soft silicone, like foam cases. I love that. And it's pretty. A little decal on there. Cute. And it says, Valjean Hello Ho Lipstick. Oh, it smells so good. Here's what it looks like inside. It does twist up. Here's the first mark. I don't know. This might be clear, too. Oh, they both are similar, actually. This might have more of a pink tone. This is a softer pink. Oh, my gosh. It smells like something from my childhood. I had rose petal dolls and strawberry shortcakes. And when you smelled their hair and stuff, they smelled. This almost smells like one of those dolls. Oh my gosh, talk about trigger and a memory. What smell, that totally did it. Love that. <clears throat> Got another one, $1.69, it's peach. They don't give you much room to get the plastic off. Don't make faces. Don't make faces. You're opening faces. Try to remember you're on camera. Don't make faces. Don't make faces. <laughs> I think I did it again. Okay. 
Thank you guys for bearing with me here. Oh, I did not rip that lid. The other one kind of tore a little bit. That's the packaging. What do you say? By Hinayo? I don't know. It's so pretty. I love this packaging. So soft. Ooh, and that smells straight up like a sweet peach. Oh, I love that. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to go well, above this one. Oh, that's really pink. Light pink to pink to real pink. Hmm. And see, I don't know if I like that color. I like pink, but I can't wear bright pink, so it don't look good on me. My opinion to myself, I don't like it on me. But we'll try it and see. 347. This is Plump Lip Balm. There wasn't many price adjustments on the the makeup kind of stuff. Can you guys even... I don't care if my whole head's in it. I can chop off my head. Um, but that's what this package looks like. Just plain little shiny silver package. I'm just doing this to try not to rip it. Plump lip balm. Almost looks like one of those little kid ones when we were little that were all flavored and smelled really good. Big fat lip balms. It smells like mint. Hmm. Let's go above this one. Ooh. Hello. Cello. I do like that color. Very minty. Not None of these have been bad that you wouldn't want to smell. They all smell very good. I like that. Okay. For $2.98. And we got a price adjustment. Um, let's chop off my head so you guys can see the packaging. People have said, well, you know, they don't want to see the people. They want to see the items. Um, but I did get another remote. It's a universal remote. $2.98 with a price adjustment. Um, it's just one of those like a Roku. Has Hulu, Netflix, Disney, and Amazon Prime. Or Prime Video. Which we have all those. But crossing our fingers we can set it up to the TV and it'll work. Because we have two of the same similar TVs. Just one smaller for up here and the big one's downstairs. But one of the remotes went <laughs> So we're using one and, you know, going upstairs and downstairs to your TV, you're eventually going to lose one and then we'll be without it. But we do have one on our phone, but still, um, we got our remotes downloaded on our phone. But yeah, hopefully that'll work. <clears throat> this is a little gift. $1.75 for this. Maybe I'm just too all up in you guys' space. $1.75 PR. Oh, oh, smells. Oh, shoot. I thought it was just a pretty to hang in her car, but it actually smells. It's a air f car freshener, but it is on both sides. It's thick. It's thick paper. I mean, it doesn't stink, but oops. Now it's not going to smell by Christmas. I'm going to have to put this in a Ziploc bag when I go downstairs. So let's set this to the side. And of course, it's a stretchy string, so you can put it on your mirror. Yep, I'll have to do that. Get a drink real fast. I think I showed this cup. Husband got it for me off Etsy. Pretty sure I did. <coughs> it is not a Stanley. It's a dupe. But for what you pay for him, <laughs> you think you were getting a Stanley? I thought it was really cute. It has the classic looking original Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch and that. And it's decorated at the bottom. I love it. Got these little, it was a two pack for like four or six dollars now. I don't remember. Little toppers. But here's another soap. This was this was for me. Hyperpigmentation. It's got turmeric in it too, and it's for dark spot corrections. You know my time laying out with baby oil was the thing to do because you never think you're going to be old and your skin's never going to not 
look youthful and nice like it does then. We don't think ahead. I can't smell it. It's in this. The other, this one smelled good. The orange is, this one's a little darker, but I would almost say maybe it smells similar to the same. It does have a little bag. I know the name and I can't think of what these little bags are, but then you can just draw string it together. And, and it's really soft and lather your skin, just cinch it up. But yeah, that one was for me. Almost smells, now I can't smell it. <sighs> Take a big whiff. It's almost like orange and um, tangerine. So it's, it's got a nice clean smell to it. <laughs> um, oh, why don't you go back in the way it came out? It's not going to get in there. This is what the box looks like. I'll do my best to put my links on there. Sometimes Timu is funny. They'll let you share the whole link with every item so you have everything on there. Um, and you can check mark if there's things you don't want to show that maybe you've gotten that you just don't want to, it's personal or whatever, you can uncheck mark it and it'll just show what you left marked. But then there's times that it won't work. It just wants to show the Timu link and takes you to that. So if there, if it does do that to me and I can't put all the links on there, if there's something that you do like on here, just comment to me and, um, I'll comment back with the link for that item unless it's out of stock. Um, Somebody won something the other day, and I went in there to, like a couple of days after they sent it, so I felt bad. thought, well, if I'd gotten on there earlier or sooner, um, but when I went on there, it didn't have it. But I hit the notify button, so if they come back in stock, it'll notify me, and then I told her I would get back with her and let her know. Um, and these little socks are cute. Two fifty the price adjustment. Bless you! He's schnoozing down there. Um... On the bottom, when you're sitting and your feet, the bottom of your feet's out like that, it says, I can't get up right now. The dog is on my lap. I think that's cute. I got those for my mom. Um, but they're really nice. They're nice and stretchy. Not, not too thick, but actually a nice thick sock. And this is the rubber, the little grippy. So you won't slip and slide. It's got good grip. See how my hands stick into it? But those are for my mama. She doesn't know she's going to get to come down for Christmas in South, from South Carolina. Um, we never know what the weather and stuff will be, but if she doesn't get to come down, I've got a Christmas package I'll send her away. Here's some more smalls. Oh my gosh, 48 minutes. I ain't speed it up. I got quite a bit of smalls in here. Maybe you guys don't even care about the smalls. I don't know. Here. Bear with me. I'm just... from the smalls for a sec. I got this little shirt for $3.58. <clears throat> a lot of my flannels, I normally keep them open. <coughs> but even with that one, this would look good if I just wanted to leave a few, like maybe three or whatever. And so you won't get hot by having another shirt on when your um, shirt is buttoned. It's like a little half top, but it's very stretchy. I think I got the large. I did, the large was an 810. This doesn't stink, but it kind of smells good in a weird way. Because I don't know what the smell is, but I'm a smeller. I watch a lot of hauls, and I have found out I am not the only smeller out there. There's a lot of people that do that. The funniest one is when they say, it stinks. It kind of smells fishy. But I don't know. I don't know what the smell is, but it really... <laughs> they keep smelling it, and then they, they call themselves out on it. That's hilarious, because I've done it too. What makes us do that when something stinks and we just keep smelling it? Um, it's really soft. It's like a knit material. Not real shiny. Um, it's actually kind of good thick material. 
it's a little lower in the back, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to have that over it. But I don't know. I kind of like that together. Could do white. They had all kinds of colors. I wanted to get one and see how I liked it. They've got white, red, black, pink, other colors. I don't know. But this was a color to me more neutral, so to go with more. So I got that one. 358. And then this is another one of those cups that I showed earlier for the girls at work. Um, so I'm not going to get that one out. Sisters, sisters. Everybody like that movie or know what movie I'm talking about? Got it in a 2XL. Here I did big again. White Christmas. And I'm glad I did because this is very square and boxy. But it's very cute and I will wear it. Look at that. That is so cute. What does it say? Sisters, they were never such devoted sisters. <clears throat> and I noticed this on the page too, so it's not like, oh my God, what is that? It's almost like, I don't know what that is, but it literally looked like that on the picture on the app. And it is, you know that, or it's not very high quality. This is nice. It feels like it's mixed, but it just might be a really good polyester. So we'll find out. 60 polyester, 35 rayon, and 5 spandex. Spandex. That seems to be a nice mix. When I get those, they're like really super soft. Really nice. But yeah, it's, it's nice. But if you look at it, it is almost equal square. Same length as the width. And so it should be longer. And my mom's shirt that I got, I don't know. I know I showed it in a haul. It was this right here. And hers was the same way. And I got a full refund. It's just like a, a square. There's no oblong shape like a shirt should have. Um, I don't know. But there's that. And I paid $7.99. I got a price adjustment. And I love it because I absolutely love that movie. I have so many favorite Christmas movies. I can't really go down to one. I love all the classics. I love Prancer with um, Sam Elliott. That man's voice, I could listen to all day. It's so soothing and relaxing. I love his voice. Um, found another bag I forgot I had. Um, actually, I had um, a Trump flag that I went ahead and gave my husband already, actually, because that one, the wind has been crazy. And it caught on the corner of our camper and kind of ripped the bottom. So with the wind and it fraying and doing that, we needed another one. So I went ahead and gave it to him early. But he's got a couple others coming too. Um, I got this. I don't know if in any of my hauls if I've ever said how we met. We met online. I We have friends in common. You know, those people I went to school with here in Liberty. But he popped up on my Facebook page one day and says, Hi, Amanda. Um... I think we should talk or something like that. It literally started from there. And we've been together since June 25th, 2013 is the day that he popped up on my computer and we started talking. We talked for two weeks before we ever met. And it was three weeks to a month before he let me meet Emmy. Um, she was six at the time when I met her. But, you know, getting a new relationship, you have young kids, you don't want to just throw people in there on them and then it not work and somebody else come in the picture and not work. You know what I'm saying? Stability for our kids. So it took a little bit and she was a sweetheart. But um, it's tiny. When I saw this, I had to get it. It's going in a stocking. You're the best thing I've ever found on the internet. So I use gloves. But look, let me see if I can get it for you guys. It got the little key ring, but... I can get it. I doubt it. Oh my word. But I thought that was so cute. And it's got like a little iPad or something with the heart and it's got bubble dots. Like, you know, you're maybe you're maybe it's a phone, maybe you're texting. It's got the bubble dots being sent, like a message. Solid on the other side. I thought that was so cute. What you doing? You're not supposed to be up here. I was showing something I got you for Christmas. 
Okay, love you too. Be careful. Did you hear what I was talking about on here? No, I just stepped up to you. Okay, good. Love you. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> That's, I don't know. I thought, how random is that? That we met online and I find something cute like that to give him. I put it in the back. It's so tiny. I've got his stuff hidden and I'll just put it somewhere with that. So I'll lose it. Um, this came. They seem to be doing this, sending you one item out of a haul or an order. I think in a way it's so they don't have to pay that $5 because it didn't arrive on a specific date time that they gave you. They're dodging that bullet. So I got a little lipstick thing. And actually we didn't open it, so I don't have how much it is. But I'll put it on the, on the link. I'll share it. But anyway, I hope I didn't have my name up there. get wrapped in the moment I don't pay attention um he left me a little note he's gonna get her go to Richmond and get his mom from the hospital she's not in the hospital but <clears throat> her companion they've been friends they met before they've known each other for years but they became more of like a couple before me and David met so me and David 625 13 we've been together almost 11 years um, Oakley is his name. He's not doing well. His health is deteriorating really bad. And three weeks or so ago, he, he's 84, 80 something. I'm not sure how old he is. He got diagnosed with, um, congestive heart failure. Um, he's just got a lot of medical issues. And unfortunately, instead of seeing him get better, He's losing weight um, when he tries to eat. I guess he gets sick. Um, he didn't go to the bathroom for a full day. And he's a stubborn farm man, stuck in his ways. And I'll tell you how it is without batting an eye. Um, does not like to go to the doctor at all. But she called two... Yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday morning, I guess. Um, about six, a little bit before. I guess Oakley wanted to go to the hospital. He was feeling so bad. So David got up and took him, and they wanted to keep him for a day or two just to watch over him because I want to say it was something with his kidneys. They're supposed to be a, a one, and maybe his was at a 3.7, 3. I don't know. It just wasn't good. And the mess they want something they wanted to give him for that was going to counteract with his heart issue. And the stuff they're giving for his heart is affecting that. It's just so they want to keep him in there and see what they can do. I, I don't know. But if he's just picking up his mom, he put a little note on the floor for me so I'd know because he was trying not to bother me. But that I didn't know he was there. I was talking about his gift. Ah! But um, if he's bringing her home, it sounds like Oakley's. Um, maybe they're just going to keep him longer and observe him. Oh, my word. But, yeah, um, it's tough around the holidays. You never want to lose anybody around the holidays. We're not trying to think like that. But when you see people deteriorate in front of your eyes like that, I don't know, sometimes it gives you this feeling. But hopefully we're wrong. But any prayer warriors out there, that would be great. Um he drives her crazy. Like I said, he's a stubborn old man. But they've gotten used to each other. You know, it's it's someone that's there with her. And it's, I don't know, to picture his mom, Miss Patsy, not with anybody or by herself. It's, it's a sad picture in itself, too, let alone Oakley feeling like he is. I just hope and pray he gets better. But, yes, if you don't care to send out a prayer for anybody, everybody out there that's got a loved one or family and friend that's not doing well over the holidays or at any time, you know, just do a prayer out for everybody, you know, for all the sick people out there. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> um, anyway, really got off sidetracked a little bit, but look, 
Let me show you the box. Oh, please, okay. The box is very pretty. I love that ice pink. Or is it purple? It's ice pink to me. But that's the box. Oh my gosh, I'm a minute. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm almost done. I got a few more. But look at this. It's rough sparkle, but I absolutely love this packaging. Look at that. And then look at this. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be that color though either. So let's do another swatch. See, it's not crazy. It's a soft pink. Mm, hold on. Let's see if I can, oh no, not very sanitary, is it? Not cool. Do that on camera. Yeah. Guys probably don't want to see me do that. Does not stink. Glides on very smooth. I really like this. doesn't really have a smell, and what I am smelling, it doesn't stink. Hmm. Yeah. See, I don't really think pink. Hmm. Looks good on me. I like more of nude colors, natural colors, but it's not pink. Like, oh, hello. So, maybe that's not too bad. Okay, let's get moving. This was $2.98. Got a price adjustment. Cute little packaging. It's got Bambi on there. This is mascara. Cute. Um, number 8812. Let's see. Pretty. Pretty. It's like a copper gold color. I really like that. It's got Bambi on there. Bambi oversized eye. And it just says she does. Cute. I didn't know he was going to get his mom either. I feel bad because if I'd known that ahead of time, I would have held this off and done it later and went with David to get his mom. Um, a very fat, thick brush. It's goopy up there, but I did not shake it or hit it against my palm. I don't know the correct way for us to take care of this. It does have a slight bend to it, but I'm not going to put that on there because honestly, it'll probably just cake up with my other stuff that's dry. But yeah, and I got black, obviously it's black, but this is so cute. I really like that packaging. Adorable. What's this? Oh, okay. But it even shows you there, it's got like a little bend to the brush. Okay, moving along. <coughs> Organic African black soap. It's got cocoa butter and vitamin E. And this soap is so good. Love the smell of it. Is it an oofla? An oof? Loofa? Loof? What do they call these things? I still can't think of it. But this is really soft. It's like double layered. Oh my gosh. Shut up. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Well, I got my son one because he loves... Um, he gets it at TJ Maxx, but the African black soap, it smells so good and feels so good on your skin. I bought him one already for his thing and I forgot until I saw this. Hmm. Maybe I could keep it. I've never tried their soap, but he really likes it. And that's, that's what I hear about. It's just really good soap. Feels good on your skin. But oh my gosh, that smells so good and clean. I love it. Cocoa butter and vitamin E. Hey, May. P I M E I. Pime. Pime. But that's the box. Yeah. Smells really, really, really good. Um, got this for my stocking. Dollar seven. Just one of those little things. It's got a suction cup. You can put it to your sink so it doesn't move when you're washing your brushes. That was annoying, wasn't it? Sorry. <laughs> kind of did it before I thought about it. It says Express Brush Cleaning Mat. It's just a little silicone mat. Not real big. It's about the size of my hand. 
It was a dollar seven. It's got all these different textures on there for cleaning your your makeup brushes. Um, a dollar forty eight got a price adjustment. I feel like I'm crinkling too much. Dollar forty eight price adjustment come in this little container. It is just a nice pair of tweezers that don't. Oh, of course, I grabbed the biggest pin that I had on that thing. Oh, maybe they're all like that because I get pins with grippers. Here, that, that did it enough. Um, real pretty. It's almost like those little scissor things I had earlier for my eyebrows. They're just little tweezers. Nice set of tweezers. There's the point. It's got a little thing here to keep it enclosed. Almost like little pretty shiny fish scales, anyway. But there's that. Um... This was for a stocking stuffer for somebody. I got, oh, I already showed you. This was another one of those pens that, um, 87 cents with a price adjustment. It has the little level bubble in it and the flat head and Phillips little piece that you can put at the, <clears throat> that you can put at the end. And it's got your little stylus so you can touch your phone or your pad. And then you just twist this and it pops up. Here's your pen. But I already showed that one at the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> Never pays to hurry because I'll start dropping everything. And this was $3.47. Plastic in plastic. Oh my gosh. Do y'all know what kind of time I already have? Maybe they do it on purpose. She struggles. Let's really watch her struggle. And it won't come off in one. Not going to say it. As soon as I got ready to say it, it wasn't going to come off in one big piece. It's what it did. <clears throat> Cute packaging. Glitter lipstick waterproof. MLS. ML smile. ML smile. And I'll smile. I don't know. Okay. This was for my stocking. I wanted some. I, the lipsticks and stuff that I've had. I feel like I've had them forever. Even though they always seem to wear the same. There's got to be an expression date on those. But who knows what, the, what that is. Cute packaging. So love this. That is so cool. Ooh. Look at the shimmer on that. Such a pretty color. I already got lipstick on, so how about we just swatch it a little bit and see. Everything I got was pink. Now that... Mm -mm. Not my lips, I don't think. But our skin's different from the color that's already on our lips, so it could come out a little bit different. I won't say no until I try it, but I do love the shimmer that's in there. That is such a pretty lipstick. I love it. It smells like chocolate, like a chocolate candle. It does. It smells like chocolate. That's weird. Cute. Really like this. You guys, I'm a minute, a minute, an hour and almost nine minutes. I got me and Emmy each one of these, 97 cents. For a stocking. No faces. Keep your face straight, normal. I try to do things. I make all kinds of faces and they, my face squunches up. <clears throat> but anyway, it does come with this little thing as a protector, which is nice. Plastic thing just clicks on there. Um, this is like when you have your fake. I want to start try, start trying to do that. I want to start to try and do them myself. We'll see. These are my natural. I don't have a whole lot. Um, but yeah, when you got your lashes on, you just kind of brush them up. Helps separate them because sometimes you know they can stick together, especially if you do mascara on even on the ones you, your real ones. 
your mascara can clump it up instead of separating it. Well, here you go. You can do that. And it's got a nice sturdy little stick handle. If you heard that, that was my stomach. Sorry about that. I hope you didn't hear it. But yeah, just get one for her stocking and I've got one. Um, Lufa. Is that what that's called? Lufa? That little stuff? Well, this is for Emmy, our teenager. Lufa coconut milk. She loves the smell of like suntan lotion and smells like that. Coconut oil and stuff. But, excuse me. This was $3.48 with a price adjustment. S excuse me. I, I don't even drink pop, but oh my gosh, you'd think I just took a big swig of it too fast. Um, there's that. Truly smells like coconut, like a tanning lotion. Maybe a little softer, but it smells really, really nice. And it's a nice thick bar. Oh, this is like whiter down there. Coconut milk. Maybe this is the part that when it lavens to get lav lathers together, it gets real soft and creamy because of the milk or something. I don't know, but she'll love that because she loves that smell. I have three things. Oh my gosh, this might be my longest video. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, this right here was $2.97. And it's supposed to be where you can use it for your lips. Maybe like a contour and or a blush. Maybe that was it. It's supposed to be multiple use with this. Whoops. And here it is, face. It says face, but then you can also see the outline of someone's face. But that's cool. Yeah, face. And it changes colors. Um, natural face multifunction. It says, highlight your skin and create 3D outline. Easy to use and put on makeup quickly. Maybe I never got the one that was multifunction beauty stick. How to wear. Apply to your lips or cheeks with a brush, makeup sponge, or your fingertips. I thought that's what it was supposed to do. More than one use. So instead of having all different colors, you know, you're kind of blends in nicely together. Okay, that is it. Very cute. I love all this different colors on these packaging. On this packaging, on these packaging. What, what is going up with my English today? It's got a little protector cap. First thing I do, smell. I love the color. I will swatch it. Um, just twist it up. And we'll go down here. That's nice. I like that color. Smells absolutely like nothing. But it is a beautiful color. And yes, they have different colors on all these lipsticks that I've showed today. I actually think this one and maybe another one I clicked on were um, had the fire beside it like it was the most popular. And I went with it thinking I'd be safer that way. But I do like that color. I'm happy with that. Yeah, this is the color. Let's see how it rubs. It rubs in good. So if you're just using it for your blush, it's just a soft, rosy color. Still has no smell. Ooh, did I put it on my nose? This is for my mom. Got her a blanket. Twelve ninety eight with a PR. I'm going to fold it and put it into a nice little box or bag for her. So. Oh my gosh, this vacuum seal. Okay. And I said she, earlier she's got a mini Dotson, little Moosey. So. I got, they come in different sizes. The bigger the size, naturally, the more the cost. I kind of got in the middle, but, aw. says Dash Hound. Through the snow. Dashing Dash Hound through the snow. But that is so cute. And I'll try to show you a little bit of the picture. I'll just raise it up a little. It's got pictures even on the edge. Look at that. What does that say? Happy ornament destruction season. Look at this. That's cute. And it's very soft. It's got all these little pretty designs. The little 
They got scarves on and hats. They're all running like crazy. It look, oh, look at that one. The little snowman one. Okay, moving it up. There's another one on the side. Now that one looks like Moosey because he's all brown. What's on the side of this one? Oh, it's another moose. Cute. And these doggies. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling, y'all. Okay. I just feel like if I'm far away, you can't see. But I'm just going to have to stay back here. It's got all these little doggies. I'll do it slow. I'm going to roll it. And it's got the Christmas truck. I don't know. People asking me, what's the big deal about the red Christmas truck? I really don't know. But I like it. It's red. It looks like Christmas. You put a pine tree or Christmas tree in the back. And I just love it. My bathroom's done that way. I'm not really into the pink so much. It's pretty. But I like the red. And then there's more doggies. And then here's the bottom. And then I think... Yeah, there's more pictures along the side. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your Christmas. Your ornaments are history. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your ornaments are history. That's so stinking cute. Mom's going to love this. Oh, and of course, what is it without a little booty? A little cute doggy booty. Okay, let's see what the other side is. Life is better with a doxy. Yes, if you know somebody that has do Dotsons or Dash Hounds, um, they will absolutely love this. Look at that. He's having fun. His tongue's flying out. He's running so hard in the snow. But this is so soft. I hope you guys can see how soft that is. It really is. They're not real thick, but it's perfect for just laying on your couch. You know, but that is so pretty you guys that would make such a nice gift for somebody <clears throat> so yes that is mom's she will love it i've hit this tree a million times and that stuff just comes off oh my gosh i got it on my pants i love these trees they're so pretty but they're so messy this is the last one 1548. My daughter loves. I'm going to ruin this box. No, I'm not. Loves Harry Potter. And. Oh, shoot. I thought I cut it. No. Maybe. Well, I can pack it up and package it. For Christmas in a nice bag or something because I want to be able to show you what you get <clears throat> okay so you screw this on your wall like this and there is two screws there and you get your two screws and you get your little plastic piece there too whoops y'all dropped it so there's that. It is a nice thick metal. Very nice. And then this has batteries in it. And it's off of Harry Potter. Remember they're getting on the train. No matter how you hang it, it's got four ways. I don't know why anybody hang it that way. But you can hang it out this way for you to see. Or this way. But it does batteries. It takes batteries and it lights up. But it literally is platform nine and three quarters. Or three fourths. I actually forget how. I love Harry Potter. Three quarters. I think that's what they say. But anyway, she will love that. And it's like a light. So if she just puts it on her wall, she can hang it like this. Or she can put it out on this end. Or she can put it on this side. I would never stick it on the inside one. But it does come with four, four options all the way around. And it's a nice, nice metal. So that's a nice gift. If you guys know somebody out there that absolutely... Oh, there was two plastics. You got two of those plastics to go with each screw. Um, that likes Harry Potter. This one makes such a nice gift. I can't think of the lady's name. She loves gingerbread, but I love watching her make wreaths and her crafts, and I can't think of her name at all. I can see her face. She finds some of the neatest little things, and she got this a long time ago. 
I've had it in my cart more than once and I thought, no, I'm just, I'm gonna wait. It, it can be a Christmas gift. And then I wanted to get it for her again. I was like, no, I'm gonna go ahead and just get it just because. And in and out of my cart, that thing went. And finally I said, nope, it's Christmas. We're gonna do it. You guys, I did get a, that's all for that, okay? So if you were here for the Timu haul, really only I, only thing I have is two decals that I've gotten from Amazon. One was Amazon, one was Etsy. But for all you people out there that love to do heat transfers, um, I got a couple here. But this is a sublimation. So I, once I seen that I'd ordered more of those by accident, I just didn't read. I thought they were like heat iron-on transfers like the Grinch ones I ordered. Um, I went and watched my video only to find out I did everything from A to Z wrong. So do you can watch the video, but do not follow my steps at all on that sublimation. Um, but this one right here, it says coffee junkie, but of course it's, it's backwards. I can see it right now because I haven't flipped my um, video around. But normally, if you're looking at this, it is going to be backwards. Actually, when I flip it around, you'll see it backwards too. But it clearly says coffee junkie. Um, and you don't want to use Teflon paper, which that's what I had, because I guess the color can actually go off into the Teflon and you won't see it until you go to do an iron on and it might come off on your other material. So I don't know. I took a Clorox wipe, probably a bad thing to do, but I took it and wiped the, both sides of that down really, really good. And I've let it dry. But, um, that was only one of the many things I did wrong. So, before you go and do a sublimation, make sure... What is this? I didn't even open this one. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm opening one here. I don't see my French wife one that I got. It was really cool. Um... It's another sublimation. Oh, this is her. Yeah. This is it. And it's, I guess, another sublimation. And this one, God love them. I am keeping these in my craft drawer with my stuff. The other people did not send this to me because I would have read this first. Believe me, I would have read it had I had it in there. Has washing instructions depending on the press that you have, your steps to go by. And then I did mine. Mine was like a 100% <clears throat> cotton sweatshirt. And you're supposed to do it on polyester. And the higher the polyester count, the more rich and vibrant the, the ink goes onto your picture, uh, material, your shirt, whatever you're making. It makes it so pretty and nice. And someone told me that chances are when I wash mine, it's it wasn't real, real bright. Um, it's going to fade, which is a real bummer. Because, I mean, the sublimations I played a few dollars for, not bad. But keeping that... And then this is my thing. It's Grinch, wifey Grinch. And I was going to put this on a sweatshirt. But I will follow these new instructions that I now have. I can even put them up there for you guys. If I paid $2 for it and $4 shipping and then tax. It came $6.14 for one. But yeah, if you guys want to screenshot this. I'll get as close as I can, maybe without cutting anything off. Screenshot that. I'll hide myself. And then you can crop it and maybe zoom in on it. And you can see it too. Or just go and on YouTube and watch those videos. Because they're satisfying and fun to watch. If you're a crafter and you like doing this kind of stuff, you will enjoy it. But mine's for a comedy show. Didn't realize how bad I was doing it. Um, okay. Okay. Thanks so much, you guys, um, for jumping on here. Like I said, if you're new, thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you and just get so all over the place that you just clicked off. Um, but if you did watch the whole thing, thank you so much. Um, feel free to like if you want. Subscribe. Um, I'm, I buy everything myself. I'm not sponsored. I never have been. I actually have had one or two maybe reach out to me. But I don't want to be pressured to be swayed either way. I don't think I really would. I, I'm sure I would tell. I know I would tell the honest truth. I don't want the pressure on my back. I just want to just. If my video is going to be a hot mess. Um, it's going to be a hot mess. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I think of the items. Without any pressure from any direction. So if you're new. Thank you. 
if you have watched me all the way through my channel that I never thought I would even get up to the subscribers that I have, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, I will have one more haul, maybe a teeny tiny one. Maybe I'll have to put it in with something else. I'll just wait till I get both. Um, but I think I'm going to have to chill until after Christmas. And... Um, I need to focus on the Christmas presents and all that stuff. I totally enjoy doing this. I really do. I love reading your guys' comments. I heart them when I read them. May not always comment back, but I heart so you know that I have read them. And thank you so much for the comments, especially the nice comments. Um, I don't really have a lot of negative ones, but there is negative Nancys and some Karens out there that just ignore. I just sometimes read them and roll my eyes. Like, why did you even take the time to even do that? Why? Just why? But um, thank you guys. I am rambling. Yes, I know. So tomorrow's hump day. Today is Tuesday the 5th. Hopefully I'll get this uploaded tomorrow. Um, you guys have a wonderful work week. <clears throat> Be safe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. This is almost an hour and a half. You guys are probably not going to watch this. I am so sorry. It's so long. All right. Till next time, guys. Bye.